So, something I wish I knew sooner is that if someone throws an airstrike in a building, there is no need to panic. I forgot to use my brain and ran outside to get away from an airstrike, but ended up running right into it and dying. Yo, what is up guys, it's Gearsy here, and today I'll be going over 5 tips and tricks I wish I knew sooner. Ever since I started this series, you guys seem to love it, so if you want more, make sure to tell me by dropping a like down below. Also, feel free to share in the comments which tip you found most useful, as it helps me decide which types to use in future videos. Anyways, without any further ado, let's begin. Now I'm sure you guys have all heard of the insane Tifu Crouch Peak, which was popularized in Season 2, but patched in Season 3. There's actually a new way to do it that works best close range and with small radical shotguns such as the combat. To do it, you want to quickly crouch, press your fire and ADS key at the same time, then uncrouch. If done correctly, it should look something like this. Now the reason this technique isn't too effective with an assault rifle is because your opponent is going to be moving and you can't hold your aim down sights key, meaning your shots are going to be very inaccurate. But if it's late game and you see somebody boxed up, not really moving too much, this technique will still be effective and you can definitely get some nice headings. And when most people use shotguns, they don't even aim down sights anyway, that's why this technique is most effective with weapons such as the combat. Now from your opponent's view, every time you crouch and uncrouch, they can only see you for about one frame, meaning it's going to be pretty much impossible for them to hit you, especially if they're in front of you. Next, before we hop into the real juicy tips, I want to go over something quick that would have been quite useful if I knew it earlier. If you want to improve the length you go with your boost from your baller, instead of just clicking the boost key and going forward, you want to quickly fire your grappler at the ground, then boost. Here's an example of Tifu doing it. The grappler method actually allows you to pick up pace a lot quicker and go farther. A lot of people don't know how to gain momentum in their ballers when they're on flat ground and there's no objects to grapple onto. What you want to do is grapple to the ground from left to right while boosting to gain tons of momentum and end up going faster than you could even grappling onto objects. This is my personal favorite way to travel on a baller because it makes it almost impossible for enemies who are trying to shoot your baller and break it to hit you, and it's super fast. Here's a random fact, if you take a baller on water, you can actually bounce extremely high, which is pretty cool if you want to grapple onto things that are higher up. Warning, the following tip I'm about to show you is extremely difficult and is going to take hours of practice to master, so don't be fooled by how easy I make it look. This technique involves jumping up an entire layer to gain the high ground on your opponent in a 1v1 or a build battle. You want to run up a ramp with a cone on top, jump while you're in the air, aim directly down, then place a floor. If done correctly, you should have been able to jump to the same layer as the pyramid. Once you're up there, you can then do a bunch of 90s to secure the high ground and not let your opponent take it back. This technique does take a lot of patience to pull off, so don't be discouraged if you keep on messing up, because eventually you'll be able to do it perfectly and easily incorporate it into your gameplay. Check it out in slow motion to see if it's easier to understand. Now I'm not fully sure if the next tip is a feature or a bug that was accidentally added, so don't be surprised if it gets removed in the next patch. Thanks to Orange Guy, we now know that you can actually shoot through the cracks in wooden doors. This technique is extremely effective with shotguns and snipers, but not so much with assault rifles. I love doing this with snipers because you can build a 1x1, one one, just edit a door, and simply fire at whoever you want without worrying. It works at all distances. And with your shotgun, you don't even need to aim down sights. Anyways, here are some clips of me using this in-game. The last thing I wish I knew sooner is this awesome way to get down from a high place while also giving you cover from above. So most people get down from high ground by either using floors each layer or ramps. And this is good, but the best way to do it is by using pyramids. The reason you want to use pyramids is because you can edit through which gives you cover from anyone trying to shoot at you from above. As you can see, every time you make an edit it creates a whole nother layer that your opponent would have to shoot through just to hit marker you. But I would only do this if you're not too far from the ground because any smart player would just shoot at the supporting build pieces and break you down. And in a real game, you're not necessarily going to want to use the pyramid every layer because you're going to be moving to zone at the same time, so this is what it would most likely look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found any value in the video, consider dropping a like, and feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future Fortnite tips and tricks.
Also, if you would like to support me further, you can use code GEARZY in the Fortnite item shop before making a purchase. Anyways, without any further ado, I wish you guys an awesome day, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.